Hello there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to talk about dreams in this video because dreams are what make our life the way that it is. Let me talk about this first. <laughs> well, I'm going to say something. Um, dreaming, it makes up 70% of our subconscious like events that have happened in our lives. That's why when you dream about somebody you know or something that bad happened to you with them or it's a way of processing that in your brain and it sometimes happens to people through sleeping for me I daydream I daydream so I sometimes don't have such vivid dreams during the night but even daydreaming is a way to process things that we are going through in our day-to-day -day lives so today I've been daydreaming a lot about time like past and present and future because somehow there are things that have happened in my dreams that I have ended up you know doing in real life or have had happen before one time I dreamed I was flying up out of the ocean whoosh, and it felt like maybe it was something that had happened to me in the past like I know it was because I felt it so truly and real like when I was dreaming and then I woke up and I was like did I actually fly like out of the ocean in another lifetime and maybe you know maybe I was shooting up out of another planet to come here you know and it was just reminding me that that's why I was on earth because I had been very depressed at the time when I had the dream and I was like this means something but I don't know and then after I had the dream I was very happy with myself and I got a lot happier with my friends and everyone around me and it sort of saved my life because I reminded myself of why I was here this was about mm, 2006 <laughs> I have very other okay there are other dreams that I have had um, once I dreamt that uh, the dream I remember it so vividly still I was inside of my house and I was wandering around in the nighttime and I could not find um, my family I was um, I think that was a metaphor for me not being able I felt like I wasn't a connection in connection with anybody so I felt very lost and even though I could hear them in the house in my dream I couldn't get to them and I walked around a there's geese out there. <laughs> okay, that was great. Um, so I walked around the corner and um, into the kitchen because I was okay being alone. But and there was this little guy, like um, a green guy, looked like Mike Wazowski from Monsters Inc. And he had this Tupperware full of green slime, and it was like water, but it was like luminescent, like a, a glow stick had been dropped in the water, and it was this glow stick water, and. He was like, want some cheese? And I was like, what do you mean? That's not cheese. And I got really freaked out and I ran away from him. I woke up, you know? And then, okay, here's another one of my dreams that I've had uh, that I still remember. I walked outside. Um, it was my sister and me. And uh, we walked outside and it was nighttime. And at the time I had a trampoline in my yard. And I, in my head, felt like my parents and I were supposed to go out on a trampoline. All of us were going to sleep on the trampoline together. And when I walked out there, they were both standing on the trampoline. Yet, when I walked past them, like this, they disappeared from my view. Like, uh, almost like they disappeared. You know, just, they were gone. And then, so I kept walking because I was scared and I didn't, you know, want to be scared. So I walked back to the back of my house, my little house I live in. And in the back of that was a car. And at the time, I had one of my very close relatives to me at the time. Um, they were in the car, and they told me to come into the car with them because there was a vampire outside of the car. And in my dream, it was green. Like, you know those camera filters they have that are green? Like night vision ones? It was like that. And I just remember her saying, be careful, like, don't breathe, they might hear you, you know? And so I was petrified. And I don't know still to this day what that one was. It maybe was that she was a protector in my life at the time. <laughs> and I'm very grateful for her for that because that was got me through a very hard time. And there are other dreams that I just have stuck in my head. Oh, here's another one that popped up. Um, I was running from the boogeyman because I had been told about a boogeyman when I was a young kid and I'm glad I had because if I hadn't I wouldn't have had these realizations today and 
the boogeyman was chasing me on a dirt road and in front of me was my grandfather and my dad and I couldn't catch up with them like they were trying to catch me and I was just running and running and I couldn't get them and I'd been being chased by the boogeyman while that was going on so that was my incentive as I was scared because I was afraid of the boogeyman obviously and here's another dream that was a nightmare but at the same I didn't feel like it was a nightmare like now because it's like I'm older but at the time I'd been watching some scary movies and these movies, uh, it was about a woman who, like, sucked your soul out if you screamed. And so, uh, you couldn't open your mouth. And when I walked down the hallway, because we have a long hallway here, um, I was going to walk down to the hallway to go to the bathroom because I had to pee really bad. <laughs> and she was standing on the other end of the hallway and... I saw her and I got scared and so I screamed and of course she tried to suck my tongue out of my mouth. Oh sh <laughs> And then I woke up from that dream and I was on the couch in my living room. And yeah, that helped me a lot actually just talking about that. Thank you for listening. Are there any other dreams that I've had that I would like to share? I don't know. If yeah, have a good day everyone. Um, I want to do namaste to you, so namaste. <laughs> Heart, head, together. <laughs> namaste, I respect you. Thank you.